So, at the beginning, uh, this will be a 100% uh, UX uh, presentation, so only about the design, not about the coding part. Uh, but I think it will be also helpful for developers uh, to understand more uh, why sometimes he need to spend a week to implement uh, some stupid feature or uh, sometimes also developers has some influence uh, on the final UX design of the application. Uh, part of that will be not revolutionary for someone who is into UX. Uh, but on a regular basis, I see a lot of designs that seems to forgot about the existence of those basic UX solutions uh, that I will show. Uh, and some of them uh, I've never seen in practice, but I think are very good. Uh, so we'll focus on the applications that are very complex, uh, process a lot of data. So an example, apps for managing warehouses, finances, customers. Uh, or something like we have uh, in our company, Workday, Jira, uh, or Helpdesk. Uh, and uh, this picture is uh, not a joke, uh, it's, it's a tragedy, because, uh, uh, of course, app products uh, are for simple products for customers, companies' uh, applications are much more complex, but still, uh, I think that we can uh, Sim simplify things uh, much more than uh, already I see in a lot of applications. Uh, before we go to agenda, uh, let's define the problems uh, that we see uh, usually. So first, like I said, a lot of data that we need to present uh, in a way that uh, a person could uh, process and understand. A lot of actions uh, that the user can do in our application and we need to present it in a way that user don't need to learn a lot, just understand what to do. Uh, and a, lot of, a lot of views. We, need, we want to reduce the amount of screens that the user is going from one screen to another, losing context and uh, uh, having a problem with finding the way to, uh, of solving something. Uh, and those things are represented in our application by mainly forms, uh, tapes, the main part with a lot of data, a lot of action buttons, and uh, also navigation uh, buttons, and also non tabularic data. So we focus on five UI uh, areas. Uh, first, we will uh, talk a bit about the general workspace, how to arrange things uh, on our application. Uh, then about tapes, how to make them, them more readable and easier to find some data that uh, a user is looking for. Uh, the next is a short one about the search and about that we, we can use the search input in different places to help, uh, to help the customer. Uh, the categorization, it's a very general concept, uh, very abstract, uh, that is the basis of a good UX, in my opinion. Uh, and at the end we'll talk about the, uh, something that has a lot of names, but let's name it here, like just additional data that are not main, not necessary, but uh, some more advanced options, an example. So, let's go to the beginning, workspace. Uh, first, uh, forgot me that some of the examples will be not from the web application, but from the desktop application, but uh, interface is universal. So interface here and interface in the web application is uh, very similar, but uh, the most spectacular example that I could find was uh, like this, uh, just to easier show you uh, what, uh, what I think about. Uh, so this, this is application to manage some data of the company. Uh, and the first thing, we are losing a lot of space here for unnecessary things. Of course, there are some obvious things like the space on the right, the space uh, here near, near, near the menus. Uh, but also we lose a lot, lot of space for the menu. We have menu at the top, next menu, next menu, next menu. And the area that we have for the most important things, the table, is very, very small. And uh, probably it's uh, very, very hard <laughs> for uh, uh, someone to manage here. Uh, second thing, uh, 
the action buttons is discussable, but uh, I will per personally put uh, put all of them into one button with the list of options because uh, with uh, those icons uh, that uh, not uh, with those icons that are not uh, not everywhere I used to those icons, so not everyone knows who won't won't. Not ev not ev not everyone could understand what those icons means, mm, and he need to learn uh, what it means. So it's easier when you have a list with the options and the text uh, to understand what to choose. Uh, in the contradiction to this, we have this application where main focus is on on what is most important, and all the action uh, buttons uh, yeah, grow. You, you have grouped into uh, one place. You have this ribbon. You can easily go from one group of options to another group of options. And also, uh, here are some icons that are uh, very popular and everyone knows uh, what they mean. And there are some icons that are very new to everyone. And, and that icon has a description. Uh, so uh, when you look at the ribbon, you always know what will happen when you click something. The next one uh, is about uh, the pop-ups, and uh, so, so sometimes those pop-ups are uh, mm, the auto application where, uh, instead of pop-ups, you have just the next screen. So always you go to the next step and next screen and lose the lose the context of the basics. So in this example, we have an application where we where you want to select uh, something from the list, and also on that list you can. Uh, create something or add something. So we have pop-up on the pop-up. Uh, and uh, if someone likes pop-up, you can reduce it uh, to two pop-ups. In example, in, 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 in the last one, when you have the list, uh, you don't need to uh, create another pop-up to add something. Uh, you just, uh, you, you can just uh, add another line to the table and uh, fill the data uh, in the next line in the table. Or you can go another way. Uh, when you click the when when you click the button uh, to select select something from the list, you can have a you can have a simple drop down uh, with selecting all of this, and at the end of the drop down, just plus button, uh, it, it just plus button to add uh, some 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 new instance. But you can go even further. You can create this view without any pop-ups. Uh, in example, you can create uh, when you when you click the, the button to add something, the uh, list to mm, the list with the instances could be on, shown just on the right of the screen, and uh, like I said on the beginning, the creating of something new will be just the next line uh, in this table. So in the opposite of this, we have a style of application that usually are. Uh, in the mail uh, applications, but uh, I've seen it also adopted in, 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 in other applications. So uh, everything we have on the screen, no pop-ups. Uh, the general things uh, on the left, you choose something from the menu, then you go into details of this, and, and it, this you have in the middle, and then you go to the details of these details and see it on, on the right. So we can easily switch from one thing to another, Without losing context of the list and edit something uh, uh, inside this, uh, something like this is uh, in Jira when you have uh, maybe not on every view, but there is one view in Jira where you can skip through uh, tickets and see something on the on the right and add, edit something uh, and do something with, with this. Uh, okay. Let's go to the next next area that I want to talk about, tapes. So, tapes we can say uh, are simple, and everything is sim simple when you have only fifty records. But you you have uh, hundreds or two hundreds. You need to do something more with this table uh, to be able to easily find uh, what you want. Uh, so this, I think, is the basic of the basic, and every table should have things like this. Unfortunately, not not not, not, not every <laughs> has this in, in the internet. Okay, first the obvious things. We have this zebra to quickly uh, find find the rows. 
you can uh, change the number of the entry, entry, entries that uh, uh, you want to show for the person. Uh, this is important because people are different and uh, one person like to see the small amount of data and just paginate over this. And in example, I like to see a lot of data in one moment, so I prefer 100 of records or 200. Uh, so, uh, oh, this is uh, also also another general idea. Always allow people to uh, adjust every everything that they could adjust. Of course, provide some default values, so to not force someone to choose some advanced options. But if he want, then allow him to do this. Uh, okay, uh, pagination, the next of these things uh, showing how much entries we have uh, and which entries we already show. Uh, and sorting. Uh, so, sort, sorting is a very simple thing. We can just do it for every header uh, the sorting button. Uh, so from the programming point of view, we, we can create uh, one, uh, one component, one plugin uh, for tapes. And then every types will have some features that, that we'll create. An example like this sorting. And if we will create it once on the beginning of creating a big application, then it will be out it will be out of the box for every bigger table in our application. Uh, and also we don't need another window to choose sorting. We just click on the header and sort ascending, descending. Uh, and the search, uh, this is a simple search that was searched through all of the columns. Uh, depending of uh, if we have all of the data on the front end or back end, uh, it will be more or less easier to implement. Uh, but also it's something like uh, creating once and uh, have, have, have it forever. So if we have searching through everything, we can, of course, go a step further uh, and have a searching through all of columns. Uh, I think this is, this is also not so complicated to implement like it uh, looks like and uh, gives the ability to provide an advanced searching without any additional pop-ups, just everything on the table. Uh, you can enter anything for any column. So, of course, it could be string or just choose some dates or some, some number, uh, whatever. Uh, and th that way, without any complex uh, SQL uh, queries, you provide a, a user ability to find exactly what he looks like very easily. Uh, because in example, when uh, we, we'll do it like in another pop-up, click somewhere and cho 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 choose something that you we want to field, the user always lose the context of what, 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 yeah, where, where, where uh, he is. Okay, if we have uh, advanced, uh, advanced filtering uh, in our table, so we can go even step further and provide some analytics to this. So, uh, in, in dynamically, uh, after we choose what data we, we will see, the analytics will update and we'll see some charts about the data that we already filtered and we already uh, see. Because if we have already implemented some analytics and we have some page, special pages for, for analytics, for reports and for everything, so we already have the graphic part and we already have the table. So connecting those two things on one page uh, is, is not so complicated. And we have advanced tool to, to, to provide uh, analytics that managers uh, needs. Uh, next is simple. Uh, the, uh, this is already common, but I, I, I will just show uh, the menu. When, when we hover on, on some item, we, we can have some advanced uh, options, like not advanced, but additional options uh, to delete something or to enter to this record. Uh, but uh, the next one is more into string. Uh, editing just uh, inside the table. This is this is also maybe common, but uh, but not very common. <laughs> uh, so sometimes you don't need to open another page with this record to edit something. Uh, you can just edit in line. It's similar like before I said to, with adding new records. You don't need another uh, screen to add new record. You can just add the new line in the table 
uh, and fill the data there. Mm, so it's, uh, so it's, it's, still has focused that on the screen and uh, the context of what he's doing. Uh, but uh, what, sometimes on that table you have some basic data about this record. In the we have the, the, the user. Uh, but, but the user also has some more complex things connected with him. In example, the list of pages where he has access to, or list of the customers that this user is uh, serving. Uh, and those data are not uh, on this table. St still, you don't need to go to another page. You can do something like this. You can open uh, one row. Everything you want uh, is here. And that way you can quickly, in example, jump through customers and quickly edit or change something uh, for several customers. So first you filter, in example, that 15 customers that you want to edit something, and then you can quickly jump through them and everything still on the same screen uh, but someone could say that okay we have some we have some area here but for some things it's not enough uh, sometimes you have really complex uh, things or tables that you want to show about this user still you can stay here uh, and this is my favorite screen uh, because you can uh, you can hide most of the columns, leave only the most important, so an example, just the client names and something else, an example, and the rest of the screen you have for everything you want. Add, adding the customers to this client or adding more data, edit, edit, editing it. Uh, you can have you know, a scroll bar here and a lot of other stuff like, like on other page, oh, sorry, uh, like on, on totally on their page. But the most important here is you still have the focus on the list of the client and you can quickly quickly go from one to another. If you will do it like pop up, every time you go to one, you need to close, then go to another, then they need to close. If you have the another page, this is even worse. Every time you need to go back uh, to the list. If you need to edit or modify or just check something in a, for several clients. So in that way, from a simple tape, we can create a whole small application just inside of this. Okay, let's go to the uh, third, uh, uh, third UI area that uh, I want to share my thoughts about, the search. Uh, this kind of programmers already know, uh, but some for them that don't know, uh, this is a web, web store application, it's an editor uh, for programming, but the most important is the uh, other settings. So by default, there are a lot of settings. There is a big tree of settings where you, where you want to look for something, but uh, they added here the search input. Uh, so we can quickly, <laughs> quickly type something that you want to look and it will show you the exact place in the tree and the exact place on the settings area, where is the word that you are looking for. So in that way, you could change everything in this application without going through every setting menu or searching, searching through Google, uh, where is something that you look for. Uh, I'm showing this because uh, to show that search input is not only to search for articles on the main page of our web application, but also we can use it to search in the settings uh, and prob probable fonts and other places. An example, this is, this is also is common, but not totally common. Uh, so just, just search bar in the uh, drop-down list, but still, even it, even in uh, forms of the big big uh, companies, I see the forms. Uh, in example, with two hundred of countries, and you need to scroll down. You don't have a search for, for something like for, for this. Uh, and probably the, during design of the application, uh, we could find some some more things where you could just put search bar to uh, to make life easier. Grouping and categorization. So the third part of the presentation. 
this is a general concept that uh, when we understand it and start to, to use everywhere uh, will make, make a life of uh, users much easier. So uh, this is maybe not nowadays uh, not a very big problem. I'll already with the forms uh, in a lot of pages uh, we use grouping. Uh, but just that, just to show some some examples, because uh, because uh, in the past we had a lot lot of forms in the internet uh, with just a lot of inputs one after another, and just grouping it uh, using some categories um, makes every everything much more readable. Uh, this is about form but also by, about every other information that you sh show on the page. Uh, just thinking about how to categorize group when you have a lot of data, put it in some bunch, give some header, uh, it will be much faster to find something because you need, you need to sc scroll your eyes through all of the data, you just go to one header and then uh, inside, uh, what's inside there. Uh, here's probably a better example, Jira. Uh, okay, on the right, it's created good because uh, the non tabularic data is divided into some groups. It's, uh, it's okay. But on the left, usually we have a big mess and hundreds of tasks. Uh, okay, we have some icons, some priorities, it helps, but it will be much more readable if we could easily divide those tasks into some basic categories, some bigger groups, uh, see those groups on one screen. And an example, uh, when we have a, an example user story and task inside this user story and subtask inside this task, put this in a tree uh, to see what is related uh, to another. And in, the, in that way, uh, it, by, by just one look, uh, you see what correlates with something another, what is uh, important for you. Uh, this is my, uh, my, yeah, my not a web page, uh, but this is about uh, uh, showing the data. And this, this is also what uh, partially uh, we, we, we do in web development. Uh, the picture on the, the this picture represents uh, in JavaScript script what uh, what when we uh, try to equal something to something, if it will we'll do if it will show true or false. When there is a green uh, square, it's true. So for some time, the internet there were the the, the first picture and everyone loves uh, that JavaScript is very bad language, it's a total mess and uh, etc. But uh, so some time later, there someone took this table and created something like this on the right, just group some things together. And okay, still, still we could find something in JavaScript that is uh, not 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 very uh, intuitive. But uh, now it's much more clear and you can much more easier find uh, what you want uh, and understand the logic behind, uh, behind the JavaScript, why something is true or false. The last one, advanced details, additional data, more expand. Something that has a lot of names, but uh, means the same. Uh, Advanced, you, you could use in options. Details, you could use when you have article and you have some more details about this article. Uh, expand, you can use an example in a table. You can uh, hide some uh, columns and show them only when user want, want it. Uh, everything is uh, to show the user only the, the most important things and what is most, most important to the most of the users. But still, all of, all, all of this user to see more detailed things, but only if he wants. Uh, so the first example is options in Chrome. Uh, you have only one screen of the options that uh, uh, are useful for everyone, but still uh, you are not, uh, you are allowing user to change much, much more 
but we are not overwhelming the, 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 the basic user. But if you have advanced user who want to change more, he has disability, he can, he can change everything. Uh, so uh, I'm showing this because sometimes when creating UX, there is a discussion uh, to create a simple UX to not overwhelm user. So the UX designers are usually reducing the options and we, we can do nothing in the application almost. Uh, but okay, still you can, you can have a clear, clear design with very simple options, but somewhere put this advanced button uh, or details or more button that, that, that will be for, this, for those several advanced users who want to see more or, or change more. Uh, and in the end, uh, I will show, show some, some smaller faults. First, always try to remember for the user. Uh, users have some limit memory. Computer can memorize much, much more. Uh, so everywhere and in every input, put to, you can you can do put the list of suggestions, uh, put the list of possible options. Uh, an example in the type uh, on the beginning with the search inputs. If in this type you have only limited amount of options that are possible, so when you say click on the search button, don't force him to write this. Just uh, just on the on the base of the data that you ha have, create the list of options that he could do. Or you can go even further, not the list of options, but uh, suggest that. So uh, uh, when the user is writing something. Uh, you suggest he, 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 something similar from the list that he could choose. Uh, also, you can go even further and suggest something like in Google. So, we, if you can, uh, user will do a, a mistake by one letter. Uh, still, still, he can uh, choose something from the list. And the second thing, fa favorites. Uh, this is also a broad uh, idea. Uh, an example, of course, if you have a shop and you have the products, you can easily allow the user to add some products to the favorites and later he can uh, go back. But uh, returning to the, our business application, an example, if you must to have a lot of screens in the application because you have complex application, uh, allow the user to add some of the screens, uh, the places in the application to the favorites. An example on the and the, and the user is logging in and can see his favorite places where he uh, usually are going, or some favorite actions that the user usually do. So he just needs to click one button and is creating something, uh, depending on the application. But uh, uh, just create one place where user can say something that uh, is interesting in this big application and the user is only 5% of this. So he don't need all of the menus and sometimes only those favorites, uh, uh, everything that he needs. Uh, Autofilling the form, uh, it's a bit dangerous, but uh, I'm thinking about an example, uh, when we are creating a new task in Jira, uh, the field for priority could be empty and you always force the user to choose the priority. But in example, you can buy the food by default, uh, put there uh, the priority uh, middle. Uh, in example, the most the most popular option, uh, and this option is most popular. So most of the times, you say don't need to change change uh, anything there, uh, and will change there only if uh, if the user want to choose the less popular option. Also, you can put here a little bit of uh, maybe not artificial intelligence, but uh, mm, Something that the, in some moments the application could uh, think uh, um, for the user and put put some data depending on the context and knowing to, knowing what uh, user wants to do, but of course user can later edit it uh, in this form. Uh, and then uh, another. Uh, Ah, it's actually the last one uh, idea that I want to share. Uh, priorities. Always think what is uh, the most important. An example like here, you have similar data in the upper and uh, lower, uh, lower screen, but 
first thing, what user does most often? An example with the stick ads, user most often will check the time because he will do this uh, several times before the flight to be sure where he needs to be uh, on the plane. But then also think about the frequency of use and the urgency because some things you uh, check a lot of times and some data you check only once, but you will want to, uh, to get the information very, very quickly. So we really have the most important terminal, gate, seat. Everything what is more important is uh, enhanced. Uh, what is a bit less important uh, is not enhanced. Uh, also some nice feature with infographic. It's uh, always uh, the picture uh, always is uh, easier to to uh, show a lot of information than than the text. Uh, and uh, okay, the last one that maybe not uh, applies to the priorities category, uh, but is the most important in the UX design. For, uh, I think one of the most important. Uh, three clicks to success. Always try to minimize the number of clicks the user needs to do uh, on his mouse. Uh, because some designs are very beautiful. You have a lo lot of nice screens. You are going from screen, screen to screen. Mm, and it looks good on the designs, but after the user needs to click and click a lot of times, he loses time uh, on doing something. And when creating a business application, one of the things we want to do is to reduce the time uh, the user spends with the application to, to achieve some goals as fast as uh, possible. Uh, so on this, I will always uh, focus. Uh, okay, and uh, this is one thing I just want to, want to show you. Uh, in a free time with some friends, we are creating some kind of uh, application to manage uh, manage tasks, so, 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 so something like uh, between Jira and Trello. And uh, here, here you can see the, the example of the, uh, um, the interface, like I show from the mailbox. Uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the left, you can see the, the general things. So in example, the filters on the middle, the uh, the, the task that you that you already filtered on which do you, do you want to focus the, on and on the right the showing of the task and editing of the task so you can quickly jump through the tasks and uh, see what's inside uh, and also the categorization so each you have the main categories each task is under same tasks uh, so an example on the top you have some category inside you have uh, some main tasks and some sort of subtask so you can uh, easily see the relations uh, between them uh, just if you enter to, if you're just interested in the application to, to manage tasks you can go to this site <laughs> uh, subscribe uh, and probably probably until the end of, of this year it will be finished and you could check uh, i tried to put all of the stuff that i talked to do this presentation inside this application uh, so, so you, if you are interested, you could check uh, how it works uh, in the real world. And uh, at the end, uh, questions. That that's everything uh, about the interfaces that I want to share. Uh, does someone have some uh, questions or doubts? Uh, thank you very much. Very interesting. How do you usually decide what to hide on mobile interface? Because mobile interface initially is uh, like smaller, having smaller space. So we need to hide a lot of things. And uh, uh, do you have any recommendation what, uh, how to deal with uh, mobile interface? Mm -hmm. I expected that question. Uh, my answer is... Uh, C complex business applications are not for mobile. Uh, they need a bigger screen and they need to focus on uh, on the space that we have on the bigger screen, uh, screen because uh, we, we have the opposite problem. Uh, design sometimes too much focus on mobile, uh, design application for mobile, 
and then when uh, and start from mobile and then <laughs> and then from from that mobile I trying from that mobile application are trying to do the application for a bigger screen and then it's on the bigger screen screen it looks like just tablet application on a bigger screen and we are not uh, mm, you are not uh, taking the advantage of the bigger area that we 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 could use uh, and in business application we have we need to have a lot of things on the on the screen uh, so uh, Firstly, I would say to focus on the bigger screen, uh, but if we really need to make something for mobile, we need to hide almost everything. <laughs> uh, so uh, th th this is what, what I will answer. <laughs> if you have the application, fo focus on the bigger screens and uh, on mobile, you have you can provide only some basic functionality. Uh, it's it, mobile is not 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 for that. Thank you. Makes sense. Uh, what what actually? I'm not UX designer at all. For me, it's kind of magic. So my questions probably can be very very basic. But uh, what uh, do you know if? Uh, kind of artificial intelligence is uh, uh, highly used right now, I mean, uh, for the purpose of hiding things, for example, uh, uh, is it preferable right now to show uh, user only things that we think that they are main to show, or we are uh, basing on some user experience like user last time, user uh, was interested in something and next time we will show them this particular thing. Uh, I haven't seen an example of this yet, but uh, yeah, this is a very interesting area and could provide uh, 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 could provide a lot uh, to ma make using application uh, easier uh, because the intelligence could artificial intelligence could uh, mm, depending on, of of what another users are doing in this application. For example, we have a company, we have a thousand of users that are using this application, and most of them them are doing something like this or it is. If it, if it, if on that screen and after doing that, uh, they are creating a form to create some new ticket. Usually, they feel, in example, pretty high and something like this, and then other things feel like this. So, in that way, uh, you can make life simpler. That it, uh, the artificial intelligence, takes, depending on those all users, could learn how to do something. But still, we. Mm. We should not do, give all power to the intelligence. The artificial intelligence will just create, uh, fill the form in, in, in example, or fill something, show it to user, and and the, uh, and the user will accept uh, uh, if he agree with this uh, or not. Uh, and this is one thing uh, about the general knowledge, uh, and also the application could learn the personal behavior of a single user. So in example, when I open application, I usually go to this screen and do this. So the next time the application will always open on this screen. An example application will learn that uh, mm, after creating a main task, always I am creating a subtask with similar title. So he can learn this, show the proposition. Do you want, okay, I see that you always do like this. Uh, do you want to uh, make it automatically? And the user agrees. Okay, every time I do a main task, always create a subtask with you know, with with similar titles, but with some prefix like uh, UI backend uh, and uh, analysis and tests. And uh, th those things could uh, happen uh, in an application with complex options. Okay, everything you could, uh, an example in Jira, you can uh, auto auto automate some same things, but you need to click a lot. But in the future, I hope uh, those things, artificial intelligence will su suggest you some auto auto optimizations, and you just agree. I want this automatization. Okay. Do we have another questions?
Thank you, Pavel. Very interesting. And uh, probably you will have to continue and tell us something more. <laughs> we will be happy to come again. Of course, I'm open for questions. Uh, uh, later, if someone wants to ask something, <laughs> I am on Skype. And so thank you for hope, hope that you like it.